मिनिटों हाथ का काले एक लगे थैंक यू प्रोसाइडिंग मेंबर टुडेज रेगुलेशन दैट डील्स विथ वेजेस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट वन पर्टिकुलरली फॉर द एस्टेट सेक्टर हु हैव बीन एजिटेटिंग फॉर सैलरी इंक्रीज ऑफ वन थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम एंड विद द इंक्रीज इन द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट शुड हैव नाउ बिकम टू थाउजेंड रुपीज एट लीस्ट नेवर द लस इवन दैट वन थाउजेंड रुपीज इज नॉट बींग गिवन टू देम द लास्ट फ्यू डेज द लास्ट वीक we had a protest walk from potwil to poligandi with 10 demands placed before the government and this was one of those i'd like to for the purposes of record read out those uh, 10 demands because it is important that the record is straight and uh, uh, miscommunication misinterpretation misinformation be avoided the three the ten demands are these one continuing land grab in tamil areas and converting our traditional and historic places into single use areas by establishing buddhist temples after destroying hindu temples the government is also targeting around 200 temples for this purpose two since the war ended 10 years ago the militarization of tamil areas is continuing and tamil's historical identity is destroyed with the aim to change demography in favor of singalis using different government departments especially the archaeological department also the government sponsored singali settlements are continuing three disturbingly the government is targeting journalists who bring to light human rights abuses and civil society activists who protest human rights abuses four Tamil cattle owners are facing numerous problems where their grazing areas are being occupied by singalis and their cows are killed five tamils have been denied the right to remember their war dead as demonstrated by denying remembrance events destruction of cemeteries of the dead war dead and demolition of memorials six muslims who died during covid are cremated against the wishes of the families and against islamic teachings Seven, PTA has been used to imprison Tamil youth without charge or trial for over 40 years. is now being used against the Muslims also. Eight, Tamil political prisoners have been imprisoned for years without trial. The government pardons Singalis on regular basis, but none of the Tamil political prisoners were pardoned. Nine, families of the enforced disappeared have been protesting to find their loved ones, but the government refuses to give them an answer. and 10 tamils in the up country are urging for pay ra raise of 1000 rupees but the government is not responding uh, to their demands these were the 10 matters that were put forward by the uh, north east civil society forum and i am reading off uh, uh, they are letter dated 1st february 2011 this uh, protest that was organized by the civil societies was supported by our party too based on these demands and these are all uh, justifiable demands these are matters of uh, justice and we had a right to democratically express our protest and the march was a peaceful march that was a huge success people turned in turned up in their numbers to support this demand and i urge the government karwandito anta minitu deka kalayak thiyena to take this to heart and to respond uh, to this democratic wishes of the people of the north and east but soon after the conclusion of this event as you have seen in the media my uh, special security uh, was withdrawn i want to also make it clear that i never uh, made a complaint to anybody that i needed uh, special security 
or uh, that there was ever any threat to my life. All of these matters were matters that the government put forward. There is a uh, case in the High Court of Colombo, uh, HC 242 of 2018, where four per persons have been indicted for attempting on my life. Uh, there are other cases. I have a bundle here of all the cases that the uh, uh, police have filed against various persons. I didn't know any of this existed until the police arrested and they have uh, uh, detained over 30 persons, including 15 who are from the, uh, from the south, uh, Sinhalese persons who belong to the underworld here. One of those cases here is B6284 of 2019 in the uh, Chief Magistrate's Court. So if, if it is a position that the, of the government as they have detained so many persons, without my knowledge or my uh, complaint, that there is a threat to my life, uh, why would they withdraw the special security accorded for this particular reason? Either, I'm concluding, sir, either Kale yeah, I'm I'm concluding. I, either, it, it must, either it must be that this is true, but the government has withdrawn my security because they are annoyed with me for participating in this protest. Or this is not true, and they have detained unnecessarily innocent persons. Or third, which is the most sinister, is that by withdrawing my security, they have given signals to those who would now act. And if anything should happen, government must take the responsibility for that. Thank you.